Okay, Jess Perfect was the girl that Polo G, baby mama, slept with. And not only that, we also know the, the, the bestie educational purpose who's supposed to be swinging both way, well, whatever. He's supposed to be the zesty dude, but apparently the zesty dude also slept with her too. And then, not only that, educational purpose, she also slept with this rapper, a dude that raps. So it's a love triangle and three triangles, but it doesn't include Polo G. Usually you hear stories like this, it include niggas like that. And I'm going to be a fair journalist. They're claiming that Polo G been broke up with her. But when I look at the other thing, they, they say he still was around. He didn't break up with her yet. And when he did break up, it was because of that right there. But like, we don't got to be detected. I don't care who's cheating and all that. I don't do gossip with the T. I do real nigga with the spill. So this video ain't really going to be about... Which person it was, she's like, no, it's just going to be about loyalty in this whole, bruh. Let me talk to all my females and my kings out here. It's for both. It's for the mans and the females. Look, when you find somebody out here, man, you find a motherfucker that's ready to give it all for you, bruh. You treat that motherfucker worthy. But you don't just jump the gun and do it educational purpose. You take time out to learn that motherfucker. Y'all already know that. But at the same time... If somebody is doing you right, taking care of you, bro, doing all that, why? Like, I don't get it. Why would you fumble a situation in a lustful way like that? Some of you folks out here is greedy, bro. You petty as hell, bro. Polo G, I will be fair, bro. Are you a simp, my nigga? Simp, son. Shout out to Stun for the Vegas. Simp, son. Like, my nigga, like, at the end of the day... I seen a video on the channel y'all got together. Nigga, you a man, my, my, my G. You you one of the guys. For real salute to you. But you just can't be, bro. But like, like you a Chicago nigga, bro. And I don't care where y'all from and all that. But I'm just saying, you a dude who's usually on your P's and Q's. How the hell you didn't see the sign? She just tweaked out and wild out here. We don't control no women. We don't own no women. I give y'all that. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying... How didn't you see so, a, a nightmare like that coming? I can see a man didn't see one or two, three of them things you didn't see coming, gang. What is you doing out here, bro? And then a lot of you young dudes out here, bro, stop falling in love all the time like that, my nigga. These people going to tell you, but it's love at first sight. That's a lie. You can be a, stuck with somebody for the next two, three years, and you'll fall in love with that motherfucker, too. It's called basically knowing for somebody for a long time enough where you, you just... You get adapted and acclimated to that person, bro. That's it. All the extra exploits y'all taking into it and accounts for it, bro. Slow down. Slow down. It ain't like that, bro. This girl clearly, I'm not going to call her Tatiana and all that. It's, even if she is, I'm going to go up one, bro. She's basically like a, a one of them nympho type females, bro. How the hell you in gang like that? Oh, she turned into that. Nah, bro. They just get enhanced more with the money of who they always was, bro. What was you doing out here? And I ain't mad at Polo G. But don't do the simp route. Don't be going back and forth with her gang. Let her be out here. Let her see how the hard not life, life is. And at the end of the day, it's something she's seen in you, homie. Wait, whether she's guilty or not, we need to start telling the truth, though. A lot of these rap niggas go through that. Oh, are we lying? I've been cheated on before, too. We all have, but come on, Polo G, bruh. You got a beautiful mama like that. She ain't gave you game. You don't got game. Like, like how a girl do it like that? Not females. Some of y'all got cold hearts, though, man. Like, shit, dog. Can I talk to some of the ladies now? I done called out the kings, too, but ladies, y'all making this shit hard, bruh. I be out here defending my queens, and I know she don't represent all of y'all. But let's not fake it like a lot of y'all ain't doing what she doing, bruh. Too much of this story being told to me. You seen a girl who, who's not in her marriage anymore or her previous relationship. You thinking she probably was getting her ass beat, something like that. And you find out it's just some bullshit she in her other, not in her other relationship. Oh, he was arguing with me too much. It's some dumb shit. The truth is you was lusting at somebody else, man. You was lusting at somebody else, bro. And you looked at the situation and thought you could play it and you could fix it and control it. That's what we all guilty, including me. You thought you could control it. Then Crystal out here, Crystal sleeping with Jess Perfect. She's sleeping with unsigned trash rappers. I mean, what more can you say, bro? That is a damage to somebody's exterior as a rapper. Unfortunately, not to niggas like me. Which is a good thing. Like, I don't care who, who your girl sleep with and all that. Like, when Rick Ross, they came out talking about his baby mama got 
um, you know, trick down educational purpose by such and such. I didn't care about all that. Did the man make good music or not? So that's why I want to find out. Is this mentally going to make Polo G collapse and be a true sit? Or he going to boss up like Future when Future left Sierra? We got them 56 nights. Are we going to get 56 nights of like Polo G finally giving no disrespect? I don't really listen to Polo G like that. I listen to a million Chicago rappers and Polo G ain't on my playlist. He's a legend, I guess, to y'all, but I'm just being, he's not my cup of tea. I have a right to say that. But I do want to see the young man get rich and successful. I've been rooting for him. That's why I'm doing this video. Like, bro, your girl got you looking crazy, bro. You do have to watch the associations around you. Whether a girl or a dude, it could be your homies too. Do some clown ass shit that don't mess up the brand. This right here messing up the brand for a little bit. And the only way when dudes go through this, or AKA rappers, the only way you fix this, it ain't no PR teams. It ain't you bossing up. Well, you can snatch sometimes. The only way you can use a female and win, it got to be some Nicki Minaj type chick. You know what I mean? Other than that, it ain't doing all that corny shit. It's just going back to that booth. Let all your feelings out there, gang. Like, I'm at the party. I'm at the get. Nah, bro. We, bro like, I guess it's for the young kids. It sound good and it get you the bag. Do what you got to do, gang. But now us. We need that one for us, bro. I know you got songs with the ba little baby and all that. Bro, we need it for us, bro. The dudes who want to hear that real piff. Kind of like a Kevin Samuels, but to us, bro. Us folks out here, bro. Come on, Polo G. Step up, my nigga. Say something. Staying quiet sometimes ain't the best move. But at the same time, you don't got to say nothing towards her. But say something about your feeling, your vibe, something, my nigga. Give us the energy. Wrong time to be hiding, my nigga. You better do a Quavo. And start showing your face like you running for a presidential campaign. Now, it ain't to hide out. Shout out to your beautiful mama. But like, I'm going to keep saying, bro. Oh, girl got you looking wild out here, my nigga. This story ain't even done yet. They got so many layers into it. Folks and I'm coming up with new. The only reason I made this, bro, I'm like, we still talking about this shit? Because they got so many. Bro, I promise you, bro, I've been on road trips back and forth. Florida, Georgia. Georgia, Florida. Florida, Georgia. In the last couple of hours, not days, bitch. I, I, I'm an energy nigga. Shout out to the smoke game, bruh. And I wake, I, 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 I wait, and I'm on my YouTube, and I'm seeing the 100 million. I, I ain't trying to look for it. It's everywhere now. Layers are being peeled back. Niggas ain't seen no crazy shit like that. I have. But folks is like, she's sleeping with Jess Perfect and a Zesty, who's also an educational purpose. I ain't going to say it on this channel. Basically, a girl that likes a girl. She's doing it with a Zesty. Dude was supposed to be her besties who aired her out. I don't know what she did to cuz, but Crystal Business is everywhere now, gang. You are, you are on her YouTube channel doing the, the puppy dog thing. I told Young and Ace the same thing, bro. Salute to you, King. But ain't you living real out here right now? Which you is. Stop doing all that extra couples channel and all. Like, my nigga. It's too much at stake right now to be doing that, bro. You're not in a position to be one of us or even just a regular everyday common civilian, bro. Yeah, a rapper job is more than just being a civilian. Unfortunately, I ain't made the rules. I don't go by those rules. But look at your career now, my nigga. Trust me. Don't listen to these people who say I'm capping. It's telling the truth, my nigga. If you don't come with them hits... Folks and I'm going to forget you. I don't think they're going to forget you, though. You a talented rapper. I think you'll be all right. I think we all go through this. We all go through the ups and downs of marriage, complicated relationships, baby mama drama, whatever you want to say. I ain't, I ain't exempt from that shit. I go through all that, but it's certain ways you got to handle. It's certain, a certain genesis and quiet body that you got to handle, my nigga. You got to do it a certain way. Like, the way you doing it right now ain't spicy, my nigga. Pause. It ain't looking cool, bro. It looking like she got the up. She tweaking out here, responding. She saying a whole lot of nothing, but it's doing something. She saying a whole lot of nothing, but it's doing something, bro. I'm at the party with all your friends. Big facts. That's what she doing, bro. Girls don't understand, bro. They destroy a whole legacy when they do moves like that. It's like a whole lot you could do, but this what you do to me? You could do me wrongs in so many ways, but certain wrongs you do ain't no coming back from. Do y'all understand that? Ain't no coming. And now, that poor, poor child, that child gonna suffer through the animosity of the mother and what she feeling towards the father. That's unfortunate, bro. I already can see what's about to happen, bro. And, and, and niggas like Polo G put themselves in that situation at the end of the day. I ain't gonna be a corny nigga. You ain't doing her right. Bro, you can have a 13-inch, you know what, to 15-inch. 
That girl, she feeling some type of feeling vibe towards that other nigga. She going to do what she going to do. Nine times out of ten, bro. I hate to tell you the truth. Nine times out of ten, mama going to do what she got to do, bro. She ain't trying to be locked down to no one, man, bro. Unfortunately, this is the generation we got. Now, I ain't judging nobody. I'm just telling you what it is, gang. Don't get mad at the messenger, man. Shout out to Polo G, but your girl's at the party with everybody else. Head don't look nice. Y'all hit that like button. Hit that notification bell. Rock out with the most winning this team out here. I smoke hip hop live. Salute, gang.